and I'm glad to have you here. It's so nice to meet you. Good to meet you. I know it's been crazy. So we're gonna make it real nice and sweet for you, okay? <laughs> so good, so good. Okay, well today we have Lena. We have Hi, Lena. Lena. How, How are, are you? you? We have a whole audience full of women that have so many questions for you. Okay. Hopefully that you you know you are able to answer them. We we kinda was prepping before we seen you, so we kind of got the familiar knowing what we want to talk about. So, Lena, go ahead. You had a few questions for us. Yes. yes. My question is, because I know you work with Leah, she's your sister, and she reminds me of my sister, and I really want her to work with me, so how do you keep that uh, sibling thing? It's so hard to tell you because family, you have to always remember that, you know, y'all family first. When the me and Leah have had some blows, you know, some blows, some blows, because yeah. we're opposite, you know? Yes, I I'm sure. very much a, a risk taker and she's very careful and, and and you know she believes in really taking her time yeah you know which sometimes is a little too slow for me <laughs> but yeah. um you know i just have to remember though she's my sister first and i love her so when we go in when we go at it a little bit i have to say you know what leah you know if this is going to affect our you know our sisterhood then we need to you know maybe we should do right. this but then we always come to a place you know where you know, she, I know she really wants to help me. She really has my back. So we compromise, we talk it out, and work it out. And I think you can't really go wrong. I know it's hard working with family. But, but, when, you, but when you know. Yes, and I don't I like just, when she do that to me. I just hang up. Yeah, see, she hang up on me, and I don't like when she does that. You know, three way the day, my sister. She said, Marlena? She said, you know she hung up. <laughs> I know she does that too. I don't like that. So I told you, that was what, that was the issue for me. I don't like when people hang the phone up on me. like, my sister feel, I just do that. I'm jealous. <laughs> my sister, we we used to work together. I let her, I let that go because I didn't want that relationship. I didn't want that right. that battle. If, I wanted to work with her, but I, my sister gonna work with me. You know, and she talk about she. I wanted to let her. Say you think you know that they have your back? Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah she, she gonna have my back. 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 She was here Saturday. And she came it's in. Hard she, do what she had to do it to find people to work with that yeah. you can trust. First yeah. of all, first yes. off, and that really have your back. First, and you know, a lot of times family does, and you know, unless you discover something else, but for the most part. You know, she, we have each other's back. So, okay. but okay. respect is the key. We always have to have respect. That's my main thing. Okay. And so, long as there's respect there, we can work together. Okay. I know you got China and her sister there, like. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, two other sisters in the situation. Yes. And my sister did that. By the way, not me. My sister. Two sisters, two sets of sisters in the situation. I love that. That is beautiful. Yes. And support is a big thing. So. Yes. And you definitely need somebody you can trust. I prefer family, but you can't, can't always have Sometimes it doesn't always way. work. It don't. It don't work. And I, I'm the one that it don't work for. I always have to make a, a solution for it. I had a question for you. Okay. I am a, a busy entrepreneurial mommy that does everything, everything. Now, I know a little bit about you, but I know that entrepreneur, first thing is first is business, you wake up. What what helps you? I'm a self-motivator. What helps you motivate yourself every day? Well, what? first first is God. Mm -hmm. God first. Uh, put him, because I feel like you have to put him first and put him in everything you do. Yeah. Because otherwise, you can get lost. So that's first. Okay. God is first. Then family. Okay. Then business. So that motivates you every day. Yeah, because okay. when God motivates me, He keeps me going. You know, He said, you know, He, he, he encourages me in, in His way, and He uh, keeps, you know, keeps me going. He, he makes the way. Mm -hmm. You know, He blessed me with the talent mm -hmm. and the creativity. It all comes from Him. Mm -hmm. So He did that, and then family. You know, my son. I know how I got to put him through college. <laughs> so, <laughs> and my son, he loves sports. It's expensive. <laughs> Sports is expensive, you know, but I, I want to help him with his goals and his dreams. So I want to make sure that I have myself secure. I, you know, I've done some things so I can now offer and help, you know. Mm -hmm. you know anyway, it's good. To, it's great to help other people, but you also can help your own. You Did know? you struggle with him? Did wait, Were you in the making? How old is he? I'm, I'm a, he's 14. I'm a single mother. Okay. And I'll be honest with you, it's tough because I had to work and I had to care for him mm -hmm. uh, at the same time. And I had to have people help me. With caring with him because I had to work because I was the only you had only help. breadwinner mm -hmm. in the family. You had help though. I did have. I, well, I had I had someone who kept him for me. That's good. Uh, uh, like a like a I guess like a family member kind of nanny situation. Mm -hmm. um, she kept him a lot while I worked, and but I you know always made sure that our, we had special moments together because I was quite busy, but I had to you know also make time for him. So, you know, we talk, and I, I'm blessed because my son honestly hasn't really given me any problems. He's been an easy 
outgoing kid pretty much that way the teenage years so i'm trying to make sure he's 14. he's 14. Girls. Girls. I got oh girls. that's Ooh. the thing it's the girls Jeez. i tell him i said no my guy I, you know i try talking about drugs you know same sex all that stuff he don't really want to hear you got to try to hear all of that but he said mom don't worry i'm an athlete i don't do drugs where i won't do drugs and so you know this gives me comfort because you know he's serious he found a passion like i found my passion for hair he's got his passion for sports you know so i support that you know and i'm there for him you know and when it's important but he has something i'm there you know and so that's why the best one you said when you put your kids first yeah you have to work but when there's things like you know you know his, his birthday i never miss a birthday i never miss you know certain things i have to tell people no this is my this is my child's moment so i have to do that because you're not going to get those years back mm -hmm. he, he 14 came like that how old is your child he's 14. oh he's 14 so mm -hmm. yeah so yeah, what's that like yes. for you? Ooh. I'm so far. He has a swag. He's sticky he like, Yeah, my sister's sticky though. Tell yeah. me about the girls, but I know they're there. Oh, yeah. no, no, I'll pick the girls. Yeah, that's I'm like, like, you got a girlfriend in the car. He's talking about some money. I'll pick it up. She's still like, hello? I'm like, what's going on? This one when she's sleeping. I'm in it. She's like, mm-mm. Yeah, the scary thing is I remember when I was 14. Yeah. I was more advanced. Yeah, he came to cry. Yeah, I, I, mean, I thought I was grown at 14. Right. I was like, 14? Right. I thought it was grown. So, <laughs> so, I think, oh, baby, hopefully he's a little slower than me. Yeah. You know, at 14, 14 I, I, was, I yeah. thought I was already grown pretty much at 14. So. Me too. Yeah. Really, my life has took its course, and you are in the field. that We are in the same field. I truly admire your work. You. I am so aiming for that high quality woman. That's the work that I like to do. And I'm, with me having so much of a load, I have a path. So uh, I know I have a longer path ahead of me. So that was the question on what gets you up. Some people, they, you know, I, I, we, we laughed about it before you got here. I said, well, I want to know, is she blend? Does she cocktail? What does she do when it's overwhelming? When it's Absolutely. Okay, I need this to shut down. What do you do? Do you woo sa? Do you dip fruit? There's a couple things. First, <laughs> the first thing I do is pray when it becomes overwhelming because I feel like okay, I got God. You know, when I do something, I pray when I before I do it, oh, I and when I'm in the midst of it, if something's going on, I go back to that. I pray. I keep God in it, um, and then you know, there's uh, there's spa. Yeah, because you know, alcohol and drugs. I come from two uh, uh, parents who were addicts. So I'm very sensitive when it comes to, you know, I don't drink, I don't do drugs mm -hmm. to solve problems because I, I know firsthand it doesn't work mm -hmm. because I grew up with two parents. Uh, I lost one of my parents, my father, you know, through, you know, with, with, with drugs. Yeah. So I lost one of my parents that way. Luckily, my mother has been recovered. So she's like my hero now because she came from a long, uh, hard addiction and has overcome that, you know, the grace of God. She's, you know, sober. Yeah. And she's now helping others, mm -hmm. you know, stay sober. Um, so for me, drugs have never been the answer. Mm -hmm. I just could see it firsthand with mm -hmm. them. Um, and I never wanted to have those. I never wanted that in my life. And I didn't want my son to grow up with that kind of, you know, um, you know. When you grow and you become successful, things in your life matters. Some mm -hmm. of those things through your path matters. Mm -hmm. So when you, you know on how you get there or how soon you get to right. where you want to be to, as of with your son right. you know what you do matters to get him to his you know goal that he wants to do mm -hmm. so i really do thank you did you have any more questions just one more question how do i get to on the set jobs well where, 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 where would i go to get a production team you know the production is talking right well there, there's a couple you know that's a question i get asked a lot and there's a couple of ways if i'll be on the real there's 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 Things out there, this union, uh, I just about that the other day there's day. agents, okay. but it's really a word of mouth, who you know kind mm -hmm. of business. Okay. It's, you know? So now you know me. Okay. <laughs> I know you. Kim Kimball don't leave the style. See? Yeah. Hey. Right. So basically, that's how, word of mouth, you okay. know, that's the best way I want to say, or you uh, find someone who can mentor you in that field okay. that kind of guides you, because I think it's, it's a whole different, completely different genre doing hair in the salon it's yeah. its own yeah, thing it's like, so you really need to learn it yeah. you know if I would volunteer to work with people who are in there to really let them guide you because it's different and if you don't make the cut you you will get cut real fast out of it right. um, you know like good news travels fast so it's bad news so you really want to make sure that you are you know you you're equipped like my mother says all the time 
If you don't stay ready, you don't know, stay. Stay ready. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready yet. So you always stay prepared. I'll cut that back. Yes, <laughs> always be bag. ready Let's for go. that opportunity. When the yes. opportunity knock, be ready. So and that's in my car. That's important. <laughs> Let's go. Well, thank you. It was wonderful to meet you. I hope I can keep in contact through Twitter and all that other good okay, stuff. Okay, of course. Of yes. course. I'm thank the diva you. maker. Yes. Lena the diva maker. So. Yes, Lena the yes. diva maker. Okay, right, well, thank I'll, you. I'll be back to making her a diva. So, oh, okay. No, well, okay. Thank yes. you so much, Lena. Thank you. It was great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, Lena. You're welcome. Sharon. Sharon, we are Sharon. Do you want to come up here? Okay, my name is Sharon Williams. I'm a master hair designer. Okay. They do have a lot of similarities. Like, you've got the hairline. Product, okay. Okay, and I'm doing okay. Yeah, yeah. So, do, how do you maintain all this? You know, I mean, Lord, everything that you got going on. Yeah. How do you maintain all yeah, this? I mean, and keep a level head. You know what I mean? That's why. That's why I go back because I know it's not like a broken record. Now, keep God. Mm -hmm. You gotta, you gotta, you know. Some, but sometimes it's, it's hard to just pray too. Mm -hmm. Like when you, because you know, I've been through. You know, with business, you entrepreneur. There's a lot of growing pains. There's a lot of things that go on, mm -hmm. and there's so nice you're gonna be crying and like, what's going, you know, but you have to stay focused, you know, on what your what your plan is, what your goal is, and be strong. And and one thing I had to learn was to, you know, get a plan and stick to it. Like stick right. to the plan. You know, when you deviate, that's when things get confusing. Yeah, okay. You know, so you have to know where you're where you where you're headed, what your goal is, what your focus is, and you got to kind of stick with that. And you know, and nothing's gonna you know, it's not gonna be easy. But you know, determination and you know, like I said, you have a good plan and you just kind of, you know, stay moving forward with it. Because I feel like faith without works is dead. You can't yes. really, you know, you can believe all day. Okay, you can pray and believe all day. That's mm -hmm. what we gotta do. But without putting the work in, that's what people always miss that part. Mm -hmm. You gotta put the work in. You gotta yeah, exactly. earn that. You gotta, you know, sow seeds, you gotta, you know, uh, educate yourself, you gotta you know, get out there and talk to someone else who's done it, you know, yeah. who can give you some insight. There's a lot of things you have to do. There's a lot of work you have to put into it. Understand that it is work. And, you know, it doesn't just fall out the sky. Right. You know, it's, it's, it's uh, it takes something that you build and you develop. And that way you appreciate it. And like, so, you know, I also look at when things are mistakes, like when things that happen, and failures in business, I don't really look at it as a failure. I look at it as a learning experience. And hey, if I never, if, it, if I'm never able to grow from that, I could tell someone else so they can avoid that pitfall, you know. So I look at it. I don't even look at it as failure. You got to look at it as, you know, growth, learning, building. That just keeps you from getting too discouraged where you don't want to move on. But you know, balance is everything. When you're trying to do all that stuff, balance is important, and you need a good, strong team behind you. You've got to find, which is the hardest thing in the world to do, we were talking about that earlier, is to find people that believe in you and your dream and your goal to get behind you. And when you find those people, you have to take care of them. you got to really, uh, you know, because they're hard to find. You know what I mean? And so when someone believes in you, you know, and they will they'll do stuff for you without even getting paid. Right. You know, that's a person. That's, that's God. right there. Right there. Hey, man, come on now. Uh, <laughs> it's God. And you got to really appreciate and respect that person because that means that that's, that, that lets you know right there. They they believe in your goal. Well said. Well said. Yes. 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 Well, I will bite this, Mary. I <laughs> bite <laughs> this. This is beautiful. It's so I love good it. to meet you. Good to meet you, too. Well, we had a conversation before you came, and the question was answered, but I want to see if you agree. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, it's kind of like changing um, my way, my style, my technique. After 34 years of doing things um, one way, but coming here, it's like a whole new world. Um, should I be patient and wait it out at my age and, and allow things to take their course or and go broke in the meantime? <laughs> or, you know, because I may not have all the clients while I'm right. readjusting. Um, what do you feel about that? Do you, think, do you see a light at the end of the tunnel? Well, for me, um, I, I, for me. I've, I've, I've done quite a bit. I've, I've changed, like I, like, I progressively change in my career. Like, I started off working in a salon. I went from a salon and I started working in television and film. Then I went from working in television and film to becoming a manufacturer. Then I went from that to becoming a, a celebrity uh, reality TV uh, star. So I made a lot of transitions in my, in my time. That excites me 
to ch change and evolution, learning something new, changing what I've done and you know doing something else, that works for me. And, and um, I enjoy that. However, I don't put myself in a position to uh, not be able to eat or to survive. But I, but what I tell myself all the time when they come in, you have to be prepared. You have a plan. Whenever you do something, you got to make a plan. You put you know some money away. If you're passionate about changing and evolving and, and, and rebuilding something and doing something different, um, then you you have to have like a plan. And then you you know give yourself time. But if you stick to it and you determine it's something you really want to do, it will work out for you. It, you the people will come faith. to you. Yeah, you have the faith. But you put the work <coughs> in too. You learn. Oh, yeah. You educate. Then, you know, and then you may have to become. A, I mean, what I learned how to do, I become a real good salesman. I can That's sell one thing like, I know, but I I need to take that course. But you but you have to. But but, but if you if you think about it, when you're a hairstylist. Mm -hmm. You have to sell yourself all while you're in the chair. And that's one thing I tell people. When you do people's hair, I don't really talk about, I don't like to really gossip about stuff and all that. I talk to them about their hair. I'm constantly selling them. So they know that I'm into their hair. I'm interested in what's going on with their hair. They listen to me. They we build a trust, a bond. And so I, I let them know how educated I am about hair and about their hair. And so they it start, they start to feel very confident, and they know if you practice doing that, that will definitely, um, you know, start to build their confidence in you. They see that you into what you do, you know what you're doing, you're the expert, and so, you know, all while you do, you're selling yourself. You're oh, constantly. I forgot about stuff. that. Yeah. Honestly, Kim, I mean, I learned that 34 years ago yeah. when I went to Barber College. Yes. And I forgot about that because I got into a that rate shop that people didn't really care, you know, right. literally 10 minute haircuts. And, you know, you didn't have to sell yourself. They were there, they were in line, they were next, they got a haircut right. and right. left. And because I don't like that factory. No this is, yes, like it was it's just like a factory. Right. So this, I'm so excited. Yes. You know? I commend you for that change. I do too. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I, I commend you. I, I'm Big so time. thankful for it. and. I, the owner to thank. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Thank you. There she go. Yeah. Yeah. Your hair is flying. I don't see how you had no problems getting anybody going to get that. Right. Yeah. You got to sell them all this cut alone. Man. You know, mm -hmm. sell them up what you got working with. Mm -hmm. yeah. so good. Right. Right. You have the next person. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank, thank you, Mary. Good luck with that. Oh, you're welcome. Now, you. next we got Hannah. This is Mary's style right here. Okay. Hi, Hannah. And Hello. she's not finished. She's actually just stopped the meeting. Your hair is cute. Yeah, Mary Dangerous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's my favorite. Well, hi. Hi. I'm Hannah. Hi, Hannah. I'm 19 years old, and I'm going to state board in a couple of weeks. Oh, okay. So yeah. Getting the ball rolling, getting my license, but um, have big dreams. I want to be in New York one day. Yeah. Hannah Montana. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> but. I'm um I'm really meditating on the verse that says be still and know that I'm God right now. So I know in this industry we're not very still. You know, we're always going, we're always going. What does that mean for you in your heart and what you do with your words since you're so great? You know? What what you when I when I when I think of that, I think of be when maybe like you just got your license. Um you you get you're yeah. going to get your license. You what what before I got in the union, I had been working in the salon for two years, yeah. straight, doing a lot of clients, which really feel because a lot of times you want to be prepared when you step into that arena. When you go to New York, you want to do like fashion. Yes, that's what you want to do, yes. which which I loved, and it's an amazing place. Yeah. It's the perfect place to go for that type of uh, you know work. Uh, what I will say is. You know, like even like with Kendra, Kendra over there, wait, Kendra. <laughs> Kendra used to be my assistant. Um, she worked with me a couple of years, and then she kind of went out, you know, and was able to like do her own clients. So I think practice, repetition makes you good, makes you better. I think if you have to be still for a while, while you're doing that, no, and that's when you know what your long-term goal is. You're preparing. I don't really see that you're being stagnant. We say you're preparing for that opportunity. You're getting ready for that opportunity. And I think that's important. If, if that's in your heart and your passion to do that, um, you know, you don't, you know, you're not, you're not all the while, you're, you're doing what you're doing, but you know that you're getting ready for that next level. And, you know, 
you 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 know you come gonna be fresh out of school. It takes a minute to develop those skills, mm -hmm. and when you step in that arena, you want to be ready, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And then maybe while you're in that, you know, why I'm not saying just sit there. I, I'm saying, you know, take the time to build yourself, build your confidence. Maybe you meet someone who can take you to that next level that you can work with. You know, you may not want to rush right into it. Right. If the opportunity comes, I'm not going to say don't take it, but while you're here being still, you're preparing. Preparation is important. I don't mean to cut you off, but this is this is just a good question I want to ask you. It's, it's something pertaining to me that possibly will help her. Um, in the midst of her trying and starting, the focus of her paying attention to somebody else is what? What I'm saying is, okay, for instance, we had a conversation. Um, some people have a hard time with doing their own business or taking care of business because they're worried about other people's business. I'm just saying it flat out. It's, it's, it's a way of what I'm saying. Sometimes people cannot grow into their own, like me. I don't look at, I don't watch TV, I don't look at YouTube, I don't, I don't, I don't know a lot about a lot of people what they're doing because I'm into me. Now I know in, in, in the business you want to learn and grow. I do have my own style and my own way. I like to do things. When I'm looking to look to do more things, I do go take those steps to do so. Other than that, my focus isn't on anybody else. Like I know exactly what I want to do. So for her, while she's growing and getting to know herself, how's it, how important is it? How were you as you were growing? As you were growing, were you inspired by anyone? Were you watching, or was you self-inflicted? Oh, I was uh, actually. I knew first off. I knew at a very young age. I wanted to. I, I knew. I just wanted to go to Paris one day. Yes. I wanted to travel. I didn't know how I was going to get there. I thought I was going to be a fashion designer. I said, I think I want to do fashion. I want to be like Patrick Kelly and Willie Smith. And, as, and I said, I'm going to work my way through beauty college. As I got into, uh, you know, doing hair, I fell in love with it. And I was like, you know, I'm going to stick with this hair thing because this is really working for me. Uh, eventually, it did take me to Paris, you know, through working with, you know, celebrities and, and doing certain jobs. And I, I know I want. I just knew I wanted to go there. I knew I wanted to do those things. Um, so, uh, I mean, and I always loved studied fashion. I loved magazines. I would even make my own magazines as a little girl and put them together. Is it important or hurtful as in your career to watch someone else? It depends on who you're watching. I mean, uh, you. I mean, that's how you learn. That's how you grow. Sometimes, it, sometimes you can watch people what to do, what not to do. Right. But, but. Um, it depends on who you're watching and what you're watching them for, really. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. yeah Just want to give her something, or, or everybody something to take, you know, or to what they should do. Like, everybody don't know what they want to do. Everybody right. don't know. And a lot of people use other people, for an example. So well, you could always, go, you know, I always say, uh, volunteer, like I said, to work under somebody. Because, you know, some, cause I've had assistants that work with me on jobs. And they think, oh, it's so glamorous, it's so fabulous. We get to do this, get to do that. They don't understand when they get in it with me, in the throes of it with me, when I'm schlepping big bags across the country, my car's not there, the flight got canceled, I'm in a different country that was speaking any languages. It's not easy. Once they've gone through that with me, some have decided, I don't know if I really want to do this. <laughs> you know, when they see the pressure that I'm under, like, okay, this, the, 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 client, the client doesn't like any of the work. I'd have to change it, you know. There, you know, there's a two sides to everything, and so a lot of times, if you want to get, you know, if you really want to do that, like it won't hurt to before you make the move, go visit, work under a few people, see how you like it first, and then if you know this is really something good, you got to get it. That's what I did when I got my first opportunity. My mother used to tell me, get in the union, do hair for television and film. I didn't really know anything about that. She knew about that. Mm -hmm. So I went and, um, you know, kind of seek, trying to get into it, but not too hard because I was very happy with what I was doing. And then the opportunity came and uh, someone said, oh, we have a play uh, called The Five Heartbeats. And I love the movie. And I said, well, this is an opportunity. I want to volunteer for this play, you know, work for free right. to see if I even like working with wigs and do a period. <coughs> it's, although it's theater, it was a theater thing which is a little different from television and film, but it could give me a taste. And then once I did that, then I said, oh, I kind of like this. This is something I can do, and it got me ready for the next level. Mm -hmm. um, and then I knew, okay, I want to do that. Because, but I was very happy doing hair in the salon, too. Mm -hmm. You know, but I wanted, I, and that's what I do, I try things. Mm -hmm. Some things I like, some things I don't like. You know, like, I mean, I do television and film. I'll be honest with you, I don't always like to be sitting on sets all day. 
you know, uh, for hours uh, after a while. It's exciting, but I, I, I know that I've tried so many things. I know I prefer to do uh, editorial shoots, you know, magazines, videos, mm -hmm. because they're more short term and they're different. And I like to I like to change and move a lot. Mm -hmm. So and I like more fashionable things. And sometimes TV and film is just basic hair. You know, it's not anything fancy, but mm -hmm. right. you have to kind of get involved to. Basically, you got a long round boat. <laughs> I'm so, yeah, Be in the like cabin, it. taste it how you do. That's yes, what you got to do until you find it, you know. Yeah. Get to know you, you know, and know what you like and try it on. Don't focus on nobody else. Thank you so much, honey girl. Yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. I want your short time, of course. Oh, thank you. My question is kind of, it came from watching the show. Because um, I do wigs myself. But I, do them because, I started doing wigs because my grandmother hair is been and gone pretty much and then of course all of her church friends wanted me to do it for them but I've also sold wigs as well and what made my question is what made you want to be hands-on with every project because I remember the episode when you stayed there till he was finished with her hair yeah. and I was like well you go girl because you want your pro I understand right. that you want your product to look a certain way but what made you because well, I never thought about doing that first of all I like to see things through I gotta see it all the way through it's my name it's my reputation on the line I have to kind of see it through. I mean, that's that's just how I felt about it. I, I wanted to, because if something wasn't right, I don't want him calling me later talking about something ain't right. I want to get, I want, I need to see it for myself to make sure, you know, it's like, it's just like, you know, when you put out a product, you know, you have to test it yourself. You have to see it. You have to know it, you know, and so you can stand behind it and believe what you're doing. Um, and I just thought it was important to, you know, make sure that the finished result I wanted to see for myself that it worked because it because I'm 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 one of those people like if you're in my chair in the salon and I'm doing your hair and I I don't feel like it's quite right I will take it down and do it again you know what I mean I because it's for me so they be like well, what's wrong with it I'm like just I just want it to be better and just, you know that's just how I am so if I was looking at him and I said you know and it was hard watching somebody else style hair that you made, I want to say, mm, I would have brushed it more like this, do it like that, but you don't have to respect his face. Right. But I, I at least can be there just to see and make sure that if there's anything goes wrong with the hair or the wig, that it, you know. And I love the fact you were able to teach him the blend trick. I think everybody could teach somebody something. You know, I have any stylists, and I can learn some things. I can watch people, ooh, I just learned that, I didn't know that, oh, that's cool. And I, that was beautiful and amazing about our business that we could continue to learn from each other. You know, there's new things that are developed all the time. So I can, I'm sure I can learn some things expo. from him, too. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. And I appreciate you taking the time to come and meet me. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I wasn't prepared for this because I was back there working. I still. But. Yeah, um, money. <laughs> all the time. But here, could you just give me maybe some. And for instance, yeah. yesterday I was kind of getting a little tired because I work two jobs. I'm uh -huh. here like 25 to 30 hours a week, and then I work a full time job, I work 45 hours a week. Right. So sometimes I don't know how to balance it. It's kind of weird because I don't want to stop doing either one of them. Um, nails is my passion, and I just kind of want to keep it that way. You know, I don't want to do it all the time where right. I lose it, but I love it too. So. I guess I'm just asking you to just give me something where I can get strengthened from it to keep doing what I do both. Right. I want to do both. Right, so at uh, your family? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you kind of sound like me a little bit. <laughs> I think I got I'm 50 jobs too. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, this is the thing. You know, um, I, ha I, will, I will say this. Um, balance is important for so many reasons. Um, because a lot of times I was one way, one sided, I was just business, 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 just working, 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 until I, one day I passed out because I was like doing too much. Mm -hmm. um, I think health is important, okay. happiness is important, and family is important. So you just have to find balance in all that. You can still do it, but you have to, it, it, being organized really is the key. Mm -hmm. Organize it. You know, you have to set, like, my mother's perfect at this. I haven't quite learned it yet, but I watched my mom, you know. She's only going to, do, she, 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 she sets her schedule and that is it. She ain't breaking it, moving it, changing it for nothing. And if you mess with it, you're going to have a problem. Mm -hmm. So you, you could do both things. You just have to kind of make sure that it works. You have to schedule. Like, okay, I'm going to do nails. So you don't, because you, you, what you can't do, if you burn yourself out, then you're done. Right. You know, you can't do anything. So I'm going to do nails at this, you know, this is the hours I'm going to do nails. Mm -hmm. And you have to find a place that's going to, you know, allow you to do, you know, to, to do that. And then 
the other job, this is where I'm going to do. But you know, you got to find some vacation time in there, family time, you know, you time. Mm -hmm. with, you know, it's important. And we are, and it's a struggle for us when we are passionate about what we do and we want to do. And we love doing it. And you know, we have, you know, we have bills and we know we got to, you know, we have, which motivates us to keep working, right. to pay bills. But, you know, bills will always be there. Mm -hmm. You know, work will always be there. Right. But you, on the other hand, at moments in your life and, 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 and things, won't always be there. So I will just I just want to encourage you to, you know, write out a plan strategically uh, or organize your schedule how you want it to go. But make sure you put some new time in there because if you ain't right, all this is going to be a mess. <laughs> and your family ain't right, you got to make sure they're good with what you're doing. All this is going to be a mess if that's not balanced. And you and God ain't right, then all this is going to be a mess. So you have to kind of work all this out, you know, write it down. And look at it. Put it on the calendar. Whatever you have to do, um, I encourage you to do that. Because you don't want to burn yourself out. Yeah, but don't don't burn yourself out. Because I can't I can't say encourage. Yeah, yeah, just keep doing it. Do it. Because I was looking for that girl. Keep doing it. Push. Don't stop. I'm not saying stop. I'm not saying stop. But what I'm saying is balance is important in every area of your life. Even what you eat, you have to eat balance. You eat one way, and certainly you're gonna mess. You're gonna throw something else in your body out of whack. So you have to eat it. That's why they don't have balanced meals for nothing. You need to do a, you know, have a balanced meal because it balances your body out. It keeps you functioning. And sleep is important. That's one thing. I lack sleep sometimes, yeah. which is not a good thing because I keep catching the flu because I'm not getting enough sleep. Okay. So because your immune system. So everything, you have to have balance in everything so that you can continue to grow and uh, you know, do the things that you love to do. Yeah. You to continue to do what you love to do. You have to have balance. There you go. Well, thank you, Crystal. All right, thank you. And we are here with Kim Kimbo, and we have Pre Pre here to ask her a few questions before we let her go. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Good. Um, the first thing I would like to ask you. I heard you mention that you were also interested. Well. At that point in time, you were interested in fashion first, and then you ventured off into hair. Um, right now, I'm a fashion design major, but I do hair on the side. Uh -huh. Still keeping my hustle going on while I'm in school and uh -huh. just in fashion at the same time. Okay. Well, there's a lot of things you can do. Marketing is, is key. Um, you know, branding yourself, marketing yourself. You can do simple things. Of course, social media has made it so easy. Um, you know, you could build things on Instagram, but you know, create your own marketing material, like doing photo shoots of your work. People love to see what you can do. Do maybe some tutorials of, of some of your work so people can see. And that's something that's pretty inexpensive you could do yourself. Um, get the word out there. You could, you know, you know, maybe run specials with your clients, do some people's hair. You know, those things can work. I mean, sometimes they're slow in, in building, but they definitely, you know, it's better than doing nothing. Yeah. So you have to do something. Um, and then if your work is good, it speaks for itself, they will send you other clients. Um, and like having like prospering business in the fashion industry and in like the hair industry, I know they both tie together, but would you say that I will ultimately have to choose one? Well, I would say yes, maybe at a certain time, like maybe you might, depends on what your passion is really. Uh, whatever you enjoy doing the most, okay. I would choose. Because, I mean, I would love fashion, but I realized I work for a fashion designer, I don't like sewing. So I was yeah. like, uh, I don't like sewing. <laughs> oh, I like design, but I don't like sewing. So uh, I knew, I, I just had more passion for hair, and so I went with the hair. Doesn't mean that later, the years later or down the line, it may come full circle back around again at exactly. some point. But I would go with what I was most passionate about, focus on, on that, and see where that takes you. Whatever you, you know, whatever you're the best at, and whatever you, you know, that you just, when you do it, if you don't feel like you're working, some people do things to make money, but they, it feels like a job. But if right. you do it, it doesn't really feel like a job, and it's, you feel like it's, you know, you could do it for free, mm -hmm. then I, that's, the, that's the one you want to go with, because you, it, it makes you happy doing it. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Love your blog here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so in today's society, it seems like everybody is doing hair. And they're selling hair out of their cars nowadays. Mm -hmm. How are you able to maintain a brand that's so well respected and in demand in, in spite of what everybody else is doing? Well, you have to have, you know, a couple of things you want to do. You have to kind of set yourself apart in, in certain ways. Um, when you're branding or creating or, or, or you have hair. Because I mean, I was I knew I was selling hair way back in the day. 
before a lot of people were doing it, you know, in here. Um, but, you know, I try to maintain a good reputation, use the best quality, very careful about what I use and how I use and how I brand it. And, you know, how I brand myself as a you know, high-end celebrity stylist, you know, I kind of have to stick with that because that's that's what I'm known for and that's how I'm branding myself and I, and that's how I want to set myself apart from the rest. So, well, basically you get what you pay for. You get, uh, you know, this $50 hair over here, you can have this $200 hair over here. That's, you know, it's not, not quite. It's all about selling yourself, branding yourself, and um, uh, setting yourself apart, you know, doing things that's, you know, Keep, you know, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just keep creating things mm -hmm. or do something new or different. And then people want that. Oh, okay. I want that now. <laughs> okay. You know, because, you know, people change. Mm -hmm. And so if you stay ahead of the curve, it, keep, it keep, kind of keeps you, you know, moving in that, you know, ahead of the curve. Because what have people always try to catch up after you start doing it. And so I think that you just have to kind of find a niche of your own or something creative um, to set yourself apart. Now you have um, been blessed with the opportunity to to do um, like the most um, A list stars. How are you able to remain so humble? Because I know where my gifts come from. Mm -hmm. I know that God got God, God gave me this for a reason. It's not just for me to blow up my head and say, "Oh, I'm a celebrity hairstylist." Right. No, it's to help other people. It's to inspire other people to, you know, give for His glory. You know that that's how I feel. And, um, you know, and I know he, I, I remember praying for the gift. I said, God, bless my hands. Wow. And I love what I do. I didn't go out and say, God, give me celebrities. Right. It happened right. that way. And so, uh, you know, I feel like I have no choice but to stay humble because uh, it's a blessing. And I'm grateful for that opportunity. For the opportunity. You know, it was not that I'm so great that it happened. It's just God, you know, I feel like he chose me to do it. And this is my job what I do and this is why I do it so that I can help inspire others you know not just to do you know because what's that because everything comes and goes once that's gone then then, well, then what right you know and what makes me what makes me happy is being able to inspire and help others you know well I'm inspired thank you <laughs> there you go well, that's 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 all worth makes it all worth it then uh what advice would you give to me like me my goal is to be uh who I'll be in five years so um what advice would you give to me, somebody that's, I kind of know what I want to do, I'm, I want to do hair, and I'm trying to get to the level that you're at. So I guess, um, I feel like I'm stuck because I don't know the next step uh, to go, where to move, or how to move. So I guess what advice would you give somebody that's in my uh, position? Well, there's a couple things you got to do. Um, again, education is key. You got to education, which, which the first thing you have to do, actually, is you have to write it all down. You got to write it down. Whether you write in a journal, you create a vision board, you, it, it, and you have to constantly look at it to remind yourself. It's, it's, to me, it helps me stay focused. It's like a blueprint. You know, I, you know, goals. I want to be rich in five years. Okay, what do I want to do to get that? Well, how am I going to get there? So you got to figure out what you want to do, figure out how to get there, and then you got to work at get, you know, work at getting there. It's all possible. The people could become billionaires overnight. Not saying it's easy, mm -hmm. but uh, you know have to you have to create a plan nothing nothing you can't even do an open a salon with a business plan you have to have some kind of a plan a strategic plan on how you do it so that's the most key thing for you because that's going to help you get to the loopholes that gives you the blueprint that gives you all this you know um, schedule of how to okay I know that I have a year to get this done okay I need to develop this I give a year to develop two okay I'm gonna market it year two I'm gonna you know you need that, you're going to have to have find people that are rich and that are smarter than you to help you in this process because they can, you know, that, that would be the smart thing to do is to consult with people who have, you know, look for mentors and they've done. Okay. And then I guess my well, within that, you know, when you, they're not easy to come by, you know, so no, it's, not. it's like, it's kind of hard to search and find them because it's not like they're putting themselves out there. But now, you know, now I disagree with you on that. Okay. And, I, and, and Probably some who became a millionaire overnight for this very reason okay. is there is Google. Okay. You can Google. You can okay. say you know it ain't hard to find that. Right. There's no excuse these days. Right. You can mm -hmm. find it. Google. I need some person who da, 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 da. Right. and you can just look through that whole list 
and maybe you just call and you find. That's how I did. When I, when I look for something, I, I Google, I research, I look up websites, try to find, and then I'll make pick up the phone and do cold calls. Yeah. So uh, you know, can I take a meeting with you? Or you know, <laughs> I, you know, you have to try. If you don't ask, you definitely don't know, and you definitely don't get if you don't ask. So you have to kind of put it out there. But if you have no excuse these days. You have Google. You can find consultants, whatever you want to find. Entrepreneurs. There's seminars. You may have to go pay to sit in a seminar and have those. Th yeah, those. But that hey, if you take one thing out of there that helps you towards your goal, then you it's worth your it's worth your investment. You have to invest in yourself because you reap what you sow. It's God's. This is God's uh, uh, plan. You don't sow any seeds. You don't reap.